What's going on y'all? I'm Mitchell with Mitchell's Lawn Care out of High Point, North Carolina. I hope each and every one of you are having a wonderful day and evening. And I really hope that 2021 is getting off on the right foot. If you're new to the channel, thanks for tuning in. If this is the third or fourth time that you are tuning in and you're not a subscriber, that's the YouTube gods trying to tell you something. Hit that little button down there and subscribe to the channel and click on that little notification bell so you know the next time that I upload a video. As the title suggests, I have drug out everything that is detached. This is the Detach Manufacturing Fleet lineup with Mitchell's Lawn Care. I'm not going to waste any more time. Let's cue that title intro. All right, you guys. So I want to go ahead and preface this with the fact that uh, in the last year to two years, I partnered up with Detach Manufacturing. So a lot that you see here behind me was given to me by Detach to test out, to demo, to bring to you. So I am blessed for that. Uh, however, I still am a paying customer. customer. I have bought a couple of the pieces that you see behind me, um, as well as the green barrels. There's four in a pack. Um, you can get them from PowerEquipmentDealer.com, or I got mine from Home Depot. Um, they're going to run you north of 200, 250 bucks. But anyways, um, so I am an investor and also a supporter of Detach Manufacturing. All right, with all that out of the way, the reason I'm bringing you this video today is because I wanted to show you um, how equipping yourself with the right tools can make your job a lot easier. Um, you know, there's that saying, work smarter, not harder. And having these accessories for your mower can make things a lot easier on you, especially if you're the solo man, okay, like I am now. And as well as, you know, if you've got a crew and uh, you're trying to, you know, uh, minimize uh, labor time and just be more uh, effective having these tools and attachments for your mowers will make life a lot easier alrighty so I'm gonna go through this all right um, I've got pretty much everything that I own uh, out here um, actually yes I've got everything out here and uh, some pieces are actually not mounted yet because I've got to exchange things there's only so many hitches on these mowers okay so um, I'm not going to delay, I'm going <clears> to <throat> dive in, sorry I got choked, going to dive into the uh, ZK61, show you what I got on this one, all right? All right, you guys, so this is the standard ZK61. On the front of it is the pile driver leaf plow, the DTPD3650-2. Uh, this thing comes in real handy when you're uh, out in the fall trying to do those leaf cleanups and you're pushing big piles of leaves across a large area. Somebody's upset and honking the horn, but anyways. Uh, added this last fall and it was a huge time saver. If you're blowing leaves and you get them in that big huge pile and you need to push them to the street uh, to suck up with your leaf vac or you're trying to put them in to the woods or what have you, uh, this will help save a lot of time because you know you get to a certain point and blowers just don't work. So this also will help push debris, um, you know, not just leaves. You know, you could push sticks or, or whatever. Um, I do need to preface this with all of these attachments are mounted to detach manufacturing hitches. You would have to make sure you get the hitch for your mower. Uh, they do have hitches that are specific to mowers. Okay, uh, this is the newest one right here for the ZXT. Now that we're at the ZXT, uh, on the front of it, I've got the Detached Manufacturing Carry Barrel Transporter. As I stated in the title intro, these green barrels are not a detached product. They do sell them on their dealer website. All that information will be in the description down below. I happen to purchase mine from Home Depot. But anyways, these are 60 gallon and makes it really handy to, you know, carry light debris if you need to get um, hand tools to and from job sites, etc. Covering, you know, a large uh, amount of um, area distance in a short amount of time. And uh, speaking with Artie, the owner, he recommends 
only enough weight in the carry barrel that one man can carry. So you're not gonna load this thing down with hundreds and hundreds of weight. That is not what it is intended for, okay? So only put in here what one man can carry because literally you gotta be able to get it off of there and, and, and dump it in wherever you need to dump it. I've utilized mine for property cleanups, you know, putting light debris in it, sticks, things like that, throwing shovels and rakes in it, uh, doing mulch jobs and, you know, putting uh, grass in it. If you're bagging, whatever, makes it really easy to dump it in a dump trailer or out into a wooded area. On the back of the ZXT, since this one has a rear hitch, I have actually got Detach's DTMJ. This is their maintenance jack. All right, so I just put this on there. I have not even tried to lift it up yet. Um, this was Artie's idea because I keep forgetting that this hitch insert is on the back of this mower, I'm just not used to it. But anyways, he asked me, Mitchell, have you tried it yet? I said, nope, but that's a wonderful idea and thanks for reminding me. Uh, but this is their DTMJ. It also goes on their front hitches, makes cleaning blades, or I'm uh, sorry, makes cleaning your deck easy, swapping out blades. And also you can drop this thing down and it would jack up the back of the ZXT and make rear tire changes a lot easier. So that is their DTMJ and it's in the factory uh, insert uh, receiver right there, okay? Don't wanna move too fast, but don't wanna bore you either. Moving on to the standard X48. Uh, right here in the front is the DT146. This is their dethatcher, and I've got it on the 40, uh, the 48 inch standard X for a reason. This is the, the, the thatcher for this size mower. As you can tell, it's pretty much the width of the mowing deck. So if you're dethatching, you can go ahead and dethatch the lawn, flip it up, and that ties into the next piece. This is the grass catcher from Catch Right. It is sold by Detach, and this is the WRI 4300. They're 4.3 cubic feet. They've actually got one that's a little bit bigger than this one, okay? I'm not gonna try to reference its size because I don't know, but it is over five cubic feet. And the back of it, during their Black Friday sale last year, I picked up the extension, uh, which of course extends the cubic feet of space in it and a disclaimer if you're loading this thing full of grass that does make it heavier so be careful there is a transport position okay for the dethatcher so you lift it up alrighty so I'm gonna do it one-handed but right here there's a little pin pull that pin it will lock back into that hole and you can transport it wherever you need to go to your trailer and as you can see, makes it a lot shorter so you can you know, put other mowers behind it and it doesn't get in the way, okay? You've probably noticed what's the thing sitting on the ground beside it. This is new, uh, new to me. This is the catcher keeper and I have not put it on yet so we're gonna demo it together, all right? I'm gonna set this camera down. Hopefully this works, just one second. All right, that should work right there. All right. What I'm gonna do is, what I just said a minute ago, I'm gonna lock that in place. I'm gonna pull this pin out. Pull the dethatcher out. Set it aside. All right. I'm gonna grab the catcher keeper. Again, I've not done this yet, so I'm uh, pretty excited about this. It's pretty cool, pretty cool idea. Put the pin back in. All right, now check this out, guys. I'm gonna take the extension off of the grass catcher because it's not intended for that. Put the back of it back on. This lifts off and if you need to get in a transport position, whatever, you gotta go through smaller gates. This goes in there and voila. That is the catcher keeper. 
it puts the grass catcher on the front of the mower so if you're if you don't need to bag an area you can keep on mowing or whatever go to the backyard it puts the catcher in between it so you don't have to to get off take it off whatever you know what i'm saying and you can just go about your merry way with the catcher keeper and the grass catcher on it so let me show you that real quick again it's as easy as bada bing bada boom and that can stay on your mower and you can keep on mowing again that is their catcher keeper i hope you uh, enjoyed this video i just wanted to go through the accessories that i have from detached manufacturing uh, this is not the only thing that they sell uh, i would encourage you to check out their website um, and uh, also their dealer website okay all that information is going to be in the description down below okay um, their their main product website is detached.com and their dealer website where they can sell uh, all the, everything you see behind me is powerequipmentdealer.com as I said at the beginning, uh, I have partnered up with them, so I will extend, uh, and they will extend, a 10% off discount on what you see behind me using my discount code MLC10. That link is always in my video description uh, in case you forget, okay? So, I thought this was pretty cool, pretty neat to see everything out here. Um, yes, it's gonna cost money, but if you're looking at this, as an expense you're looking at it the wrong way okay this is an investment an investment into your company okay you will get an roi and return on your investment okay if you struggle with you know employees or whatever some of these accessories will take the place of employees and make life a lot easier on you as the business owner if you're the the solo man like me Having stuff like this makes your job a heck of a lot easier. If you can throw debris in a carry barrel and get back and forth to your dump trailer or dump site, whatever, in a fraction of the time, that's less time that you're out there in that 90 some degree heat and, and just wearing yourself out, you know, walking or pushing or pulling or whatever. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you've got any questions about any of the accessories uh, that you've seen today, let me know in the description down below. If you enjoyed the video, give it a big old thumbs up. That really helps the channel and, and helps bring me or helps bring you more content. Okay, so if you enjoyed it, please hit that thumbs up button. I greatly appreciate it. Also subscribe if you haven't already. Okay, I hope each and every one of you have a wonderful 2021 season. If you're bored, check out some of the other videos that I've posted. Been on YouTube now uh, seven or eight months. I'm really loving it. I can't thank you guys enough for all the support that you've given me. Recently hit 2,500 subscribers, which is insane. Never thought that would have happened, uh, much less as quickly as it did. So love each and every one of you. We'll see you next video.